Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and like always, I'm Brian. So, doing some research for my project back here, I was trying to figure out how to cut ceramic magnets without, you know, shattering them, causing a huge mess, or whatnot, because I've never cut a magnet before, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, some of my labors did find some half quality videos, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, where it was really just some kids and some drills and a sound quality that could only be matched by like 12,000 nails on a chalkboard. And I really learned nothing from the video. It just... Ugh, it was terrible. Anyway, so I decided that I would try something. Alright, so guys, if you want to see how I cut these magnets, stay tuned because I'm doing it Chanley style. Before we kick this off, I just want you guys to know that I actually tried this out before making the video, so this isn't just like a shooting from the hip kind of thing. Um, but what you are going to need is, what I use is my Dremel. I use the uh, reinforced cutoff wheel. I have a sander here, which I used to round the magnets down when I was done. And then I took this clamp and I used it to actually clamp it to the table back there so the Dremel would stay still. Other things I used, obviously gloves and eye protection because I honestly wasn't sure what was going to happen once I started cutting these. And then it was just these small um, ceramic magnets just because uh, they're a little bit too long for my project and I needed to cut them in about half and then sand them down a little bit to make them fit in a circle um, post hole. Alright, so I went ahead and I double checked my measurements so if you see right there, I use the silver marker to line up where I'm going to cut it at, basically. And I'm going to try it this way first with the Dremel C-clamped down. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to C-clamp up this piece onto something and then try to Dremel it that way. Because it's just too small to try to hold and Dremel at the same time. But I'm pretty sure if I just do this carefully with my gloves, I should be alright. So, here it goes. I apologize for the noise. Okay, so that was like super surprisingly easy. I just scored it a little bit and it just broke. So I don't know if it was the heat or what, but that's pretty much a perfect piece right there. So a few of the pieces I uh, cut were a little too long. They snapped off just a little too long. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to try to round them down a little bit so they fit into the post. Alright guys, I hope this video helped you out. I was actually really surprised at how easy it was to cut magnets. I thought it was going to take forever or that they would shatter or something like that. And really it was super simple. It took barely any time. And it's good to know that you can actually sand them down and round them off if you really need to for, you know, some kind of Etsy project or something along those lines. So anyway guys, if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave comments down below if you have any questions. I know the camera angle was kind of bad so you couldn't see what I was doing, but I was just touching the magnet just ever so gently to the wheel and letting the wheel doing all the cutting. Which is really what you're supposed to do with the Dremel anyway. In my description there is all of my social medias and things like that if you guys need to get a hold of me or you want to find out more things about the projects I'm doing. I'm also working on something called Rig of the Week on my Facebook channel. So if you go there and you've got something that you're proud of that you've put together yourself where it's like a computer, a camera setup, anything. Anything you're proud of that you've rigged up yourself, I'd like to see pictures of it and maybe you could be part of the Rig of the Week. Anyway guys, this was Cutting Magnets, Chanley Style. Thank you.